location remains a something of a mystery to me because anything that looks like this in the book doesn't isn't found here. It will if, stop moving now because what I'm going to do is just flick the microscope. And what they do... Oh, sorry, just come back here a sec, Rebecca. What they do is that they play dead. I'll put him back under. I've picked him up, and now he's folded his legs under himself and pretended that he's no longer alive. There he is. You can see his little claws. There they are. Beautifully sharp. I shall pull the focus now down to his abdomen. There we are. Now you can see him slowly coming alive again, and I'm just going to lift him up a bit, and this is going to change the focus slightly. Let's lift up, and we'll watch him slowly coming to life. See? <laughs> Sorry, my focus is not great. Look at the mechanism. Look at the ball joint there. Two balls. That looks like a CV joint on a car at least a universal joint. You see that? It's got two joints, both of them uh, moving at 90 degrees to each other, which means the limb can move in any direction that it has to, but both joints must move. That is very cool. You see the top joint? It's a little bit like a ball and socket, I suppose, but it's basically moving frontwards and backwards. And then the joint that the leg is actually attached to is moving at the, in the opposite plane. That is rather magnificent to see. It's just like the universal joint on a Land Rover. <laughs> now, there's nothing hindering him from turning over, so he can turn over. I just think he's going to struggle to do that. There's his back two legs. You see how the entire segment that his legs are attached to is moving. Now, that'll be the back of the thoracic segment. The abdomen is the short bit behind the legs. And, of course, on a beetle, and they've got what we call, I think, a cephalothorax. Yeah, and Justin, yes, I agree with you. You say this is a fascinating joint. I'm assume, assuming you're referring to the beetle's leg joints. Now, I put my hands closer, and so he stopped moving immediately, pretending to be deed. I'm going to touch him and watch him fold himself up again. There we go. I've touched him now. And he's folded his legs up. Let's see if he opens up his mouth there. As Rebecca says, it's like I hypnotized him. Yes, Rebecca. I am known as the beetle hypnotizer. I'm not really. That would be not really a title one ever wants to, to have, I don't think. And let's just see those top joints. Let's give him a little second to wake up again. There we go. I mean, the detail in that is quite astounding, isn't it? There are the little mouth parts coming up. And the little antenna. This is just fantastic. 